How is your balance? I want you to do a test right now. Stop what you're doing if it's appropriate and you're not driving or well, you shouldn't be driving anyway, or at work. And I want you to bring one knee up slightly in front of you. If you're comfortable, bring it all the way up and then see if you can stay balanced for 15 seconds. If you can, that's a great sign. If not, don't worry. If you're worried about your balance, have something nearby that you can grab onto. Now, once we get into that 15 second mark, now close your eyes and see, can you stay balanced without the visual input? Wow, I'm actually surprised myself that I was able to, to hold for that long. Test the other side, because some people are much better balanced on one side than the other. So same again, knee up in front. Can you stay balanced for 15 seconds? If you can, that's a good sign. Then you want to test it. Can you do so without the visual input? Now, why am I telling you to do this? Because the better balance you have, the less chance you have of falling, of stumbling. And often these are the things coming off a curb while we're walking, particularly for our ladies in their 60s, 70s, 80s, that can trigger off you know, a back injury, a hip injury. And it's also very much part of their recovery. So my nan at the moment is recovering from hip surgery, and this is what I'm encouraging her slowly to do over time, is just to start balancing and working those stabilizing muscles around the pelvis and hips to get back on her feet, get back walking, going up the stairs. So if you'd like help with either of those, if you want to walk better, if you want to be able to go up to the stairs better um, and feel more confident with your mobility, give us a call and we'll arrange a call with me and yourself to talk through your case and you know, give you an honest insight as to whether I'll be able to help you achieve those ambitions that you have, uh, improve your balance, and who knows, maybe get you in the, in the circus one day.